I'm going to ask you to do me, uh, just do me a favor, uh, but I need you to do this in, in silence. Just trust me. Just give a little fist bump to the person to your right or left, in silence, quick fist bump. Okay, that's good. Now give that same person a really good high five. Get after it. Good. A little harder to do that in silence, but I get it. And then lastly, uh, just shake the person's hand. Give a good handshake. Okay. Thank you for doing that. So our hands can send different messages without saying any words. So the fist bump in the hallway is like, hey, what's up, bro? The high five, obviously, you're a little pumped up. And the handshake, a little more serious and a little more respectful. Without even thinking, you just kind of know the right one to choose during the moment. Like you just feel the vibe, right? Like when Richie Rosa hits his game-winning shot, I mean both his game-winning shots, right? You're not shaking hands, you're like high-fiving, right? There's pats on the back. Maybe the best high-five you've given in a while. Or even when you're rushing the court when you aren't supposed to. But sorry, coach, it looks really cool when we're on ESPN like that. I appreciate that. Hands, hands sending messages. Hands sending messages. The hands of Jesus Christ. Think of the way he used his hands on Holy Thursday and Good Friday. He washes the feet of his best friends, and then he gathers them together for just one last dinner. And he literally breaks bread and passes it around. He goes off to a garden, and he prays, and he cries. He cries an awful lot by himself. And I could picture him kneeling before this huge rock, thinking in fear of the agony that awaits him. I picture him using his hands, and he's like holding his face. He's holding his face because he's crying so hard that it seems almost impossible for those hands to wipe away those tears. And then those same hands, maybe still covered in tears, they, hear, they heal a soldier's ear that our guy, our guy Peter cuts off. And then his hands, right, the hands of God, they, they accept the cross, and they carry it up the hill. And along the way, he meets his mother. And my Jesuit educated imagination pictures him reaching out one last time to grab his mother's hand and squeezing it, never wanting to ever, ever let it go. And then, of course, you know, those hands are nailed to the cross. Now, I know we see these days of Holy Thursday and Good Friday as a kickoff to our well-deserved break. I know we see them as a time to relax. But I ask you, I challenge you as students in a Jesuit high school, I ask you to find some time, even if it's just a couple minutes, to reflect on the hands of Jesus. To me, it's simple yet powerful. It's an easy way to remember the story. And maybe at some point over break, when you're given a fist bump or a high five or a handshake, Maybe it reminds you, just for a second, to reflect on that. But there's another reason I want you to think of it. Whether you know it or not, you are the visible evidence of God's invisible hand. Your hands and your heart and your mind and your character, your whole being, are called to serve, called to heal. Yep, called to heal, called to bring people together. You are called to forgive, called to pray, called to face your fears, my seniors, called to face your fears, sometimes that through tears seem impossible to wipe away. And of course, you are called to love. Or said another way, and my seniors, I was, I was thinking about you when I wrote this last part, because you guys will be leaving in a lot faster than you know it, a lot more quickly. The next few weeks will fly by. So I hope you put this one in the bank. It's for all of you, but especially for you guys. I want you to be so strong, so strong and steadfast, that you can be patient and forgiving. I want you to be so confident and so intelligent that you can recognize and acknowledge your limitations. 
And I want you to be so resilient and so passionate, so passionate that you realize that those limitations only have as much power as you give them. Because remember, you are a marauder. And as is said in the great, great movie, The Equalizer, this all doesn't happen at once. It's progress, not perfection. Progress, not perfection. You got this. We got this. I love you. I love you so much. Let's go prep. Thank you. Just real quick before we dismiss, right, the robotics team is going to Lehigh University for districts this week. Give it a hand to, uh, to robotics. <laughs> Model UN just crushed it in the best small delegation, de delegation and numerous individual awards at the United Nations. Great job, Model UN. And, uh, and our show, How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, was just, was just awesome. So give it up for, uh, for those guys as well. And then just yesterday, students from our Italian program took first place in a competition at Rutgers. The Ebony Club visited DC last weekend. And today, we welcome our folks from a fellow Jesuit high school from Japan. That's a lot. And, th and then there's something we do that I rarely shout out from here. How many of you have gone on ever at prep on Kairos or Emos? Just raise your hand. That's an awful lot. Great job for doing that. And freshmen and sophomores, take a good look at that. It is, it is transformational. Let's give it up for the teachers and staff who go on. And lastly, I would be remiss if I didn't say our sports season was extraordinary. Indoor tracks, 4x400 four meter relay team broke the school record in the meet of champions and recorded the third best time in the United States. That's pretty good. Great job. Fencing, fencing finished sixth in the state, swimming finished ninth in the state. Basketball earned a 26-3 and three record and finished fourth in the state. That's pretty amazing. Great job. And then wrestling finished third in the state, 23rd in the country, and Katie Riccardi became the fifth, only the fifth individual wrestling state champion in school history. Unbelievable job. Great job. I hope you notice all that and so much more. We are firing, my brothers and sisters. We are firing on all cylinders. We're doing a great job here at PrEP, so let's give it up to our faculty and staff for leading the way for us. Great job.